Hello, everyone. My name is Omar Awan. I'm a professor at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. I want to talk today about hate speech. And can hate speech have an influence or affect the health of Muslim Americans? And if we take a look at the media portrayal of Muslims, you know, commonly Muslims are portrayed as terrorists, you know, extremists in the media. And, you know, as a case study, let's talk about mass shootings in America. So if you look back to 2015 in the San Bernardino, California mass shooting, the perpetrators were immediately identified as Muslims and as carrying out a terrorist event. However, if we take a look at some of the other mass shootings that have occurred, like the ones in Uvalde, Texas, in Sandy Hook, uh, even in the one in Monterey Park last week in California, none of the perpetrators were identified by their faith or their ethnicity. So why is it that when a Muslim commits a violent crime, they're automatically labeled as a Muslim and they're automatically labeled as a terrorist. This can have significant health implications for Muslims. Research has shown that negative stereotypical portrayal of Muslims, you know, being identified as terrorists or extremists in the media can lead to low self-esteem amongst Muslims. You know, typically Muslims can have feelings of shame, guilt, and low self-esteem because of this negative portrayal in the media. And we know through science and research that there is an intimate relationship between self-esteem and mental illnesses such as depression, anxiety, and even suicidal ideation. So there is a profound effect on the mental health of Muslims from this negative portrayal in mass media. I also want to point your attention to the 2022 American Muslim poll that was instituted by the Institute of Social Policy and Understanding, which surveyed over 2,000 individuals of different religious faiths and individuals of non-religious faiths uh, in America and polled them about important issues in America, such as politics, health, discrimination, violence, a whole array of different topics. And some of the findings in this poll are very alarming. So Muslims in America are more likely to believe that they're more prone to violence when compared to other groups like Jews, Christians, and the general public. Whereas statistically, Muslims are just as likely to commit a violent crime than any other religious group and any other non-religious group for that matter. Muslims are also the most likely group surveyed to agree with the notion that they themselves are partially responsible for acts of violence carried out by other Muslims that are not related to them. So you can see that because of the media portrayal, Muslims are developing a high level of internalized oppression. And this is a problem, and this is leading to low self-esteem and mental health illnesses like depression and anxiety. To read more about how the media effect can really uh, affect the health and the mental health and the mental well-being of Muslims, please click on the link below and read my Forbes article to give more insight on this important problem. Thank you so much for your attention. Tune in next week for another important topic in public health.